1985, an obscure Japanese arcade games manufacturer released the home entertainment system, the master system. In five years' time, they would outgrow their rivals by fourfold. Sega relaunched the home video entertainment market, having the same success as Atari the decade before. Teenagers and adults alike were captured by the fast, exciting games. Sega has a rival, Nintendo, and between them they have dominated the world market for the past three years. This domination of the market and the youth culture has led the United States to dub their kids the Nintendo generation. In this program we'll be looking at the negative aspects of video games. Although we do accept that there are beneficial effects, a documentary about them would not make interesting television. investigation off in the seedy underworld of the video arcades. A crack team of undercover journalists at an enormous risk entered this shadowy world. requires plenty of money. This let many use to commit crimes to pay for their fix. Fortunately, these arcades were few and far between, and the people frequenting them luckily rare. As you see, the patrons of this establishment would have to endure the dark, dingy conditions, usually in the back rooms of these establishments. and education problem.
have not yet been any reported cases of violence due to video games. But what of the future? Yeah! Come on! Come on, Eddie! Get up! Get up! Come on! Come on! Oh! 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 Over recent months, there has been 16 cases of kids suffering from fits and convulsions, allegedly stemming from playing the computer games. Now makes 17. It has been proven that long exposure close to TV screens in a dark environment can damage eyesight. <laughs> just shown you are extreme side effects of long-term computer game addiction. Obviously, occasional playing of such games is virtually harmless. But when does the drunk know he's an alcoholic? Oh, my God. 